Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Games to back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles. Now I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and in today's guide I'm going to show you how to make circles with the building pieces in Conan Exiles. Yeah, so let's get right to it. Now this piece right here is the reinforced stone set. So let me show you where you get that in your feeds. So you want to scroll over to your little hammer and then scroll all the way down to Master Mason. And if we look on the right hand side, you'll see there are all the reinforced stone pieces for your build. And again, uh, these are from the original Conan. You do not need a DLC to get these. They come with the game. So to get started, you want to set down a wedge foundation piece and then you want to take six wedge foundation pieces and create a circle with them like so now i am in fly mode and i'm also in cloak mode so these scorpions won't bother me but i'm in fly mode because you can see this better from above so we're going to do it this way so then you want to take a foundation piece, a square one, and you want to place it on the end of each one of these wedge pieces so that you have something that looks like this. Then you want to take your wedge piece and you want to fill in all these spaces. Oop, get in there, you. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they can be a little fiddly. There we go. Now, the next thing you want to remember is that you're going to work in I, what I call layers. So there's the center, and now we have our first layer. And you always want to start your next layer with a square foundation on a triangle foundation. So you want to place a square on each triangle piece of foundation now. So you have something that looks like this. Then you want to take a wedge piece and you want to place it on your square and then place two. Now we have three layers. We have the very center, which is one, then we have two, and then we have the next layer. Now we want to again start with a square foundation first, and we want to place it on the end of each one of these triangle or wedge pieces. So now we have two squares on this round. So you want to go ahead and put those in. As you can see, it wants to set on that. Now, once you have those set, it will look something like this. Then you can again fill in with your triangle piece. I'm not very good at flying here. <laughs> That was inevitable. So let's just dismantle that piece. Now we have a four layered circle here, which is pretty large. This is big enough to hold the map room. Yeah. So I happen to have one in a box over here. Where's my little box? And it is, I'm probably sitting on it, 
pretty close. All right, so let's get our map room here. And pop that out. Now, if you are building this for a map room, you really should place your map room before you put up your sides. Now, it's pretty easy to tell. It just fits. So you can just set it down in place. Now this doesn't leave you much room for anything else. So what I always like to do is add one more round to this. So again, you want to take out your squares and you want to place them on your triangle pieces. So again, we have two. And again, we want to fill in with our triangle pieces. Now we have two here. So now you can see we have quite a few triangle pieces. Now we're starting out with three and two. And then this is going to be three and two all the way around. So if you want, you can freeze the video and just kind of study how this is going together. If it looks a little confusing, but if you just remember the rule that squares go on to tri uh, wedge pieces or triangle pieces, you'll be fine. Now, if you want to enclose this, all you need to do is get some pillars out. So let's get a couple of pillars here. Uh, there we are. And again, uh, pillars will only place in the center. So we're gonna make this, we're gonna put two like this. Now you can go all the way around. You can place these on a triangle piece that will just center itself. So maybe we'll do that. That just makes it look a little more even. And I think we're missing one more over here. Yeah. Okay. So let's go up one more. We want to make this a little tall. So we're going to go ahead and go one more here with the pillars. So now we have two pillars high and now we want to put a roof on there. We've decided we want to close this in. But the tricky part about this is that it's just a little too wide and you will not be able to enclose this in. I believe it will leave it unstable in the center and of course you cannot put a pillar in the middle of this. So I usually use just like a walkway around the outside which is fine. But when you build with squares and triangles and then go up one or two floors, when you go to put in your ceiling tiles and you need to pull out your reinforced stone wedge piece and then your square ceiling piece, you must put your ceiling pieces square on top of square. So if I have square foundations down at the bottom, I must put square tiles on the top. So if you see that I try to place a square here, see what happens. It will snap to this one, but it's not going to follow the floor plan underneath. So what you need to do is match it with the, the uh, wedge foundation pieces that you have on the bottom so there you go so now i have all of these matching what's on the floor 
So now I can continue around doing that. And I, there you go. Didn't have it in the right spot. Whoops, as you can see, that didn't work out right because what I did is I snapped it to the pillar first. So that did not work for me. So you need to match it to the square one first and then continue on. And see, it wants to snap to that foundation, but I, or that pillar, but I don't want it to do that. And we just have these last few pieces. And that's the start of our roof pieces, or I like to call it a catwalk. Now, if you want to continue on, again, you have to remember that wedge pieces go on to squares and squares go on to wedge. So then we want to take our square ceiling pieces and fix those onto our wedge pieces or triangle pieces like so. Now, as you can see, the stability of my build, it's losing it, it's turning yellow. Nope, wrong one, Granny, there we go. And there we have that. And now again, you do triangle on square. Doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as it's triangle on square or square on triangle. Now you see that piece is actually turning red. And that's telling me that I have lost stability. So now if I try to put a red on the triangle, or a uh, square, I'm sorry, it, it it's not going to go. <laughs> it says, no, I have lost ability. Uh, I am not going to finish for you. So you can make the decision whether you want to have a look like this for the opening, which I don't think is too bad. Now these might fit now that I have the triangle pieces in, but no, it's not going to. It says, no. We are not going to fit. And that doesn't look bad, guys. That looks pretty nice. So you can finish this off with either crenellated fence pieces or uh, just regular fence pieces, which looks nice either way. And I happen to think this is a really nice looking set. So we're not going to finish that off, but then again, you can do the crenellated on the top. Now, one of the things about building in a circular fashion like this is that you will not be able to get inside walls that are square. And that's because the walls will snap onto the sides of the wedge pieces and it will not allow you to make a square room in that respect. So let's go ahead and show you that. So as you can see, they want to snap onto those. So to make a uh, divided room into uh, in a circle is just about impossible. I can do this if I want, create a room that's kind of uh, odd looking. I can do that. 
but I will not be able to make a square room. Which, you know, might not be bad. It's, it's up to you how you want to do it. But again, uh, that's how you make the circles. Now you're wondering, uh, what if I want to build onto a square building? How do I know what size uh, circle that I'm going to get? So how you do that, you want to take a square piece set it down there and remember we want triangle on square so let's take our triangle piece here and we're going to set that on our square now from here if you want a smaller version you can just go ahead and make your your center center circle here oh i'm using ah i'm using the ceiling pieces that's why it's not working so let's just take those down yeah make sure you use your foundation pieces of course and where's my wedge here it is so you can start off this way and then we're going to build our center circle right here. And then again, remember square on wedge. And then our wedge piece to fill in. And voila. Now, once you have this set, say you want one even bigger than that, all you need to do is start out with two square foundations. And go two more this way. So I have two flat edges to these triangles, which I will be able to put square wands on it if I want to go bigger but then we're gonna go two more so it is possible to do this without starting at the center of a circle and as you can see I can quickly go around And this is going to create a very large circle. And we're going to end up right where we started. And then we just fill in the center. Again, using square on triangle until we get to the center. Once you do this a few times, it becomes very easy to do. Oops, we're going to need to take care of that one. Now, there are other ways of doing this. I just find this the easiest to lock into my mind how to do this. Whoops. Come off there, you. on square and then square on triangle and then there is our center So there's any numerous ways that you can do this. Now, if I want to extend this out, I don't want it right on the end like this. I can uh, move this foundation out this way, again, using odd numbers. And I can go out here if I so choose to make this bigger because I think that's going to aesthetically look better. So I can go out further this way with it. 
there's all kinds of ideas that you can get as you're building. It will come to you. It's so much fun. It's so creative, guys. Yeah, don't be afraid to play around with this. And it's always better to start out with a floor plan like this. And then in your mind, as you go along, you can think of things or how you would like it to look or what's possible. Yeah. And again, doing stairs is, is really very easy in these. So let's go ahead and put up some walls and some stairs and I'll show you how to do that. And let's see, we're gonna want some ceiling tiles. I think I just popped one off there. Yeah, this probably hasn't gone back in yet. There's the square one, okay. And there it is. And we'll put you there. So we're gonna put up some wall pieces just so that you can see how stairs are done in a circle like this. Now you can put stairs on the inside or the outside of your build, it doesn't matter. So with stairs, you wanna start on a square. So in this instance, we're gonna start right here and then we have a square piece underneath. So we wanna put a square piece there. Now you're gonna run into the problem of, we have triangle pieces underneath. So now you need to place triangle pieces there. And now you can go up again with your stairs. And now you can just place a square piece there and then continue up. And this is how you can build stairs going around. You can also start, if you don't want quite so many platform pieces here in your stairway. And again, don't be afraid to play around with it to get what you, you've got in your mind, what you want it to look like. All right, let's take this one down. You can also start at the bottom of this one. And this is gonna be true if you want to start, if your circle is only this big, you can start from here. But you need to put your stairs, you need to start them always on a square piece. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now the pieces underneath are triangles, so that's what I need to use next. And as you can see, I do that. And now I'm going to be matching with a square piece. So now I can go up one more here. And voila, there we are up to our top. Very easy, guys. And it looks nice. It looks nice. Well, all right, guys, there you have it. Some fun with circles in Conan Exiles building. Yeah, it's not that hard to do and it can be a lot of fun and you can get some great, great looks uh, with your builds with these round circles, attaching them to your buildings or just making your whole base round. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, if you liked, please give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.